Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about the synthetic division. Last time, meron tayong video kung paano gawin yung long division in dividing polynomials. This topic or this, this process is a substitute for long division kasi sa akin, eh, I will advise you to use synthetic division if the divisor is in linear form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here this example. Divide x cubed minus 9x minus 3x squared plus 27 by x plus 3. Okay, this is the way to say, guys, na gamitin yung synthetic division if ever na yung inyong divisor ay in linear form. Pero pwede rin naman kayo gawin ito synthetic division kung hindi siya naka linear form. Pero para sa akin lang kasi, mas madali if naka linear form or linear yung ano nyo, yung given yung divisor. So, what will happen? Una muna, puntahan muna natin yung ating dividend. x cubed minus 9x minus 3x squared plus 27. As you can see guys, before tayo mag-start ang ating synthetic division, kailangan naka-descending uh, order yung ating, ano, or naka-order yung ating expression. Wherein, ito kasi kailangan pagpalitin natin ng pwesto. So, we will have x cubed minus 3x squared, okay, minus 9x plus 27 divided by x plus 3. So what will happen guys, itong ating divisor, yung x plus 3, we will equate it by 0, equate natin by 0, and solve for x natin, your x is equal to negative 3. Anong dapat natin sa negative 3? Your negative 3 will be put here. It will be placed here. Tapos, ilagay, ilagay natin yung line. And then, kaya natin siya arrange, we need to get the coefficients of this. Ang coefficient ng x cubed is 1. This is negative 3. This is negative 9. And we have 27. So, lagay natin dito ng line as our support. So the first step after getting negative 3 here, after getting the coefficient and the constant, bring down 1. Bring down 1. And then multiply it to this number, which is negative 3. 1 times negative 3 is equal to negative 3. And then simplify. Negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3. That is negative 6. Next step, this number, negative 6, multiplied by negative 3, that is positive 18 or 18. Now, add negative 9 plus 18. That will give you the answer of 9. 9 times negative 3, that is negative 27. Now, Add them, 27 plus negative 27 is 0. So, hindi pa tayo tapos. Kasi, uh, mga kailangan natin is another polynomial expression. Itong mga nakuha natin dito, it will be converted as your quotient. So, what will happen? Since, as you can see guys, we started, we have started with dx cubed, or the power of 3. Ibig sabihin yung quotient natin ay mag start sa uh, power of 2 or x squared. Mag-minus ang tayo ng 1. Ganun lagi ang mag-minus ng 1. Kunyari, nag-start tayo sa x to the 4th power, yung quotient natin can be converted sa x cubed. Okay, what will happen? Since our coefficient here is 1, it will become x squared. Kasi 1 lang siya. Okay? Now, for the minus 6, since this is x squared, we will follow negative 6x x squared and x. And this is your constant, which is plus 9. This is your quotient. Okay? And this is your, what? This is your remainder. The remainder is 0. So, kung i-summarize natin yung ginawa natin, we can say that x cubed minus 
9x minus 3x squared plus 27 divided by x plus 3 is equal to your quotient, which is x squared minus 6x plus 9. As you can see, guys, yung mismong sagot natin, ito ah, parang ganito lang siya. Wala tayong remainder. Kasi sa next part ng ating video, I'll be showing you another example na kung saan meron na tayong remainder sa answer natin. So, buray ko na ito ah. Let me erase this one. Okay, for the next question, let me get my iPad. Okay. For the next question, we are given here divide 2x to the fourth power minus 3x squared plus x minus 4. by x minus 2. Now, so first, we need to do this one. That is x minus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose, it will become x is equal to 2. Pero isipin mo na lang, parang ano, uh, this is negative. Kunin mo yung kanyang additive inverse. So this will become positive 2. Okay, buray mo ito. Now, as for this one, maging maingat kayo. As you can see, this is 2x to the 4th power and then minus 3x squared. Nawawala yung ating um, term na merong cube. So what will happen? Get the coefficient, which is 2. Since wala tayo yung coefficient na merong 3rd power or cube, gawin natin 0. Huwag tayo mag-skip. Okay? Next, negative 3. Again, bakit nagkaroon tayo ng 0? Because we do not have um, the cubic term. Next, uh, this one, the coefficient is 1, and then the constant, which is negative 4. We need to put our support here. Okay, let's continue. Bring down 2. 2 times 2, 4. And then plus natin, four, 0 plus 4 is 4. 2 times, oh, sorry, 4 times 2, that is 8. Then add these numbers. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. 5 times 2, 10, and then 1 plus 10. Again, let me repeat that. Bring down 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. And then 5 times 2 is 10. And then add that in total to give you 11. Okay, now, 11 times 2, that is 22. And then add these numbers. Negative 4 plus 22, that will give you the answer of 18. Okay. Now, by na natin, mag-create na tayo ng ating expression. Since this is 2, nag-start tayo sa, sa fourth power, it will give us 2x cubed. Bawasan lang natin ang isa. Ito naman, plus 4x squared. Ito plus 5x. This is your constant plus 11. And this is your remainder. Ngayon, paano sinusulat yan? Para sulat natin yan, copy natin to. That is 2x to the 4th power. Again, ha? this is your quotient. Minus 3x squared plus x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. Turo ko sa inyo paano sinusulat yung final answer, guys. Copy this your quotient, two x cubed plus four x squared plus five x plus eleven. Para naman dito sa yung remainder, nagyaman nito plus eighteen pero over your divisor which is x minus two. Eto na ngayon yung pinakasagot natin. Pwede ba naman isama to? Okay? So sana guys, sa tutukay sa video natin on how to do synthetic division as a substitute for the long division. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button 
for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!